All right, welcome back to Alflator, folks. Thought we'd do something a little different today. Um, little 22 Magnum action here out of the North American Arms. 22 Magnum with a, yeah, maybe a one-inch barrel. Yeah. Uh, we're shooting a variety of uh, projectiles here. Uh, they're rated at uh, 1,080. No, 1,880, 1,880 feet per second. We run this through the chrono for a couple of shots. We're getting right at 1,000, 950 to 1,000 out of most of them. But we're going to pick out a variety of targets. This is uh, nowhere near long range. This is a backup gun. I call it a belly gun. And it's where you stuff it and <laughs> etc. So, but we're gonna show a little bit of a few different targets just to see what they will do. Got a yard in front of it? Uh, maybe four feet. Four feet, one meter I'd say. There we go. Okay, we got, he's gonna shoot that little target. Doesn't have much for sights, but let's see how he does. I'm ready. <laughs> I think you got it. Okay, I'm ready. Ha! Is that a clean shot? Very, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Literally with soap. I, I get. I get the joke. <laughs> Imagine that. See if I can hit it. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Yep. Let's see if those hollow points actually work at such low velocities. Which? Uh, what? What brand is that? The. This is the Spear Gold Dot. Oh. Okay. These we'll see are if it. Actually designed for the short barrel. Okay. Okay. We'll see if it actually works. Okay, I'm ready. This is our uh, full metal jacket, if you want to call it that. And here was our hollow point. A little different, a little different, okay. Here's our exit for the full metal jacket and here's the exit from the hollow point. Okay, and it's kind of broken apart there a little bit. Yeah, yeah open it up and see if uh, anything, oh, that's an ugly looking lemon. Ooh. Lots of seeds. I don't think I'd want to eat that. No. It's kind of pithy. <laughs> Okay, let's see if it'll go through that rather thick paperback book. Uh, this is another hollow point round that I had loaded, so we'll okay. go with that. Try to hit it in the center. <laughs> I think it does not aim easy, does it? No. It's not the most accurate uh, revolver in the world, that's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely for close quarters. I don't think we're going to get any 50-yard shots, in other words. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. How many pages we get in that book? I don't know. Oh, over 565. About 
570 pages. Pretty thick book. And it wasn't strapped down. And it still went through. Yeah. Well, how's that possible? Okay, round nose. Up oh, there's a, there's the bee. Go back, bee. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. <laughs> that went right right through the center. There you go. Nice. Let's see, we were laying this way, so it's yeah. a little bit high on this center. This thing does not look like it's easy to aim. It's not. There's really nothing to go by. Then you're going to from different ammo to different ammo with different ballistics and all that stuff. Not bad damage for a little 22 Magnum. I wouldn't want to get shot by it. No. Gives you an idea with the power of that little tiny pistol, though. It's doesn't have very effect, long effective range, but nah. that's not what it's made for. It's a, it's a good gun. Might save your life. <laughs> there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It's just something a little different for you guys. I know you guys like us to change it up once in a while. We want to take this opportunity to thank our generous Patreon supporters for their support. Couldn't do this without you. If you have any questions, please comment. Try to keep your comments clean so we know you're serious. Thanks for watching.